everyone, Gadget Girl Kylie here, and welcome back to some more gameplay of Gravity Rush 2. Things got so awesome on the last episode. We finally got Dusty back and our gravity powers as well, so we're going to have a little bit of a play around with those on this episode, and I'm super excited. Hopefully you guys are too, so let's give it a go. Shift gravity and float. R1. Floaty lights! L1, return to normal gravity and drop to the ground. One more time! We're gonna gravity! Oh yeah, alright! Drop to the ground. Yeah, it's really handy actually. Now that I can shift gravity, it's a quick hop! Might have to change the sensitivity actually. There we go, that's nice. Okay, pressing R1 will cause cat to float. When floating, a target marker will appear on the screen. While floating, aim the blue target marker with the right stick or by tilting the controller, then press R1 to fall forward towards the blue target marker. Press R1 again to stop falling and float midair. You can press L1 at any time to return to normal gravity. R1 float or stop midair or fall forward. L1 revert to normal gravity. You can change camera and motion sensor settings by pressing options and selecting system. Well for now I'll just leave it as it is. If I find there's any issue I will of course change it. Nice! Cece! I hope you're not too upset by how hard Lisa was on you. How would you like my new clothes? I look sexy! I love Kat's outfit, it's so awesome. Okay, well why were they hidden all this time? Is it because I wasn't allowed special treatment because I'm a slave? <laughs> Oh, okay, so they were damaged and now they've been repaired. That's cool. So Sid can sew? Sid can sew, confirmed. <laughs> Who knew he had it in him? Oh, Sid gets a bad rap, doesn't he really? Bless him. What do you guys think about Sid? Let me know down below in the comments section. I think he's lovable. I sure have got an amazing power. I mean, imagine that if you could control gravity, guys, in real life. Would you use it for evil? Or would you use it for good? Let me know. Wait, what? Imagine if there was a bully, you could just, like, manipulate gravity and make them fall to the ground and be like, Bow down to me, bully! Mm -hmm. You helped find Dusty. And Dusty means my powers are back. Exactly! Meow. meow 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 She's just like look at the way I just want to examine CC for a second before I move on the way she's standing She's like totally unsure of herself. She's kind of clutching her doll to her chest and just like looks really nervous She's a totally meek, shy character, isn't she? I hope she comes out of her shell a bit later on because she's adorable and I've totally fallen in love with Cece. Let me know what you guys think of her down below in the comments section. Right, I need to remember that I can actually use my gravity powers now. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! I'm sorry, child and dog! I'm sorry. You're okay. Go, go about your daily business. It's all right now. I have to remember that because uh, you kind of have like a field around you that gathers things up along with you when you use your gravity power. So <laughs> let's not take the dog with us on a flight. Who's saying hello to me? 
Find the person who called you. There we go. Conversation time! I sure have, old man. I sure have. I'm not gonna be your bus service though. Don't be thinking that, okay? <laughs> well, he chose his words wisely there. At least he's not being pervy. <laughs> Those clothes look sexy on you. I can see everything. Yeah, definitely, I do want to practice. Like I said, I do have the HD remaster of uh, Gravity Rush on the PS4, but I barely played it. I played it back when it came out on the PS Vita, so yeah, I need practice with the gravity controls. Definitely. I don't even know if Kat would get sore using her gravity powers. Maybe she would ache all over if she uses her powers too much. I can't even remember if that was a thing back in the first game because it's been so long since I played it. I can barely remember most of the story actually. I could do with like a recap on what happened in the game. <laughs> That's what I could do with. Revert gravity to normal. If you are shifting gravity, press L1 to cancel. Shifting and return to normal gravity. If you run into the ground while shifting, shifting will automatically cancel. So, how you say this guy's name is Misai. Misai? Hopefully I'm saying that correctly. <laughs> I forgot his name on the last episode, actually. Misai. Misai, Misai, Misai. Remember that, Kylie. Uh -huh. I'm crap with names, guys. <laughs> That's why I'm trying to use the characters' names, like, as often as I can in commentary, because it helps me remember names, and normally I'm bad at remembering names. So I apologise if it's a little bit annoying. <laughs> I'll try not to overdo it, though. Yes! See, bask in my awesomeness. Now you know my gravity powers are real. They're not tall tales anymore, Mr. Mr. Misai. Mm. <laughs> nice one, cat. I'm not acting hard, but you gotta admit, it is cool. Hmm. I'm picking up the slack, so what's the problem, Misai? <sighs> you know, he was injured enough to be carried in on a stretcher and have bandages, so he's not overacting his injuries at all. Like, other people will have seen the injuries and dressed those wounds and decided he was so unfit he couldn't walk. Not him. Right, where to now then? Head further back in the gravel pit and start training. I've not took someone with me, have I? Can I still speed up? I think you can actually. There we go. Hopefully some of the enemies appear actually, so we can practice some fighting. Okay, right, aim the camera to decide where to fall. L1, return to gravity. R1, shift forward. I pretty much got this down actually. There we go, X to speed up. Nice. Oop, the camera went really weird then, actually. It's just remembering which way the ground is <laughs> because of the camera changing and everything. Sometimes it's easy to get disorientated. Oh, 
I did that wrong actually. Hang on a second, let's just go over there. Do I have infinite gravity then now? Ah! I failed! I don't know what happened then. Did I die or something? Let's try that again. I didn't land on it accurately. There we go. I'm not going to speed up this time. That's better. Gravity gauge and energy gems. When your gravity gauge runs out of energy... There we go. This answers the question I literally just asked. You can no longer control gravity. Energy will recover naturally over time as long as you aren't using any gravity powers. Okay, gravity gauge and energy gems again. You can also recover your gravity gauge's energy by collecting energy gems. After shifting gravity and falling to a wall, you can move with the L stick, jump with X, evade with R2, or perform any of the other actions you could if you were on the ground. But obviously that will be using up your uh, gravity gauge, won't it? Because you're not actually on the ground, you're sideways or upside down or whatever. So let's go ahead and collect these. What narrow spot? Oh my god, really? Let's really aim at this. I do think I might need to change the sensitivity though. Oh! oh! There we go. It wasn't perfect, but we still did it nonetheless. Okay, obstructed navigation markers. If something is obstructing your view of a navigation marker, the marker's visual will change to indicate that. Shift gravity to get around the obstacle and continue towards your destination. I did it! I did it! I'm off my game. We play the gravity control tutorial. No. No, we're good to go. Ooh! Trophy! Gravity test. Well, luckily it comes back pretty quick, though. I'm collecting them. Motion sensor. You can adjust the camera angle while shifting gravity by tilting the controller. Motion sensor sensitivity can be adjusted by pressing options and selecting system. If you set the sensitivity to zero, you can turn off the effect of motion sensor. Find Sid. I have no idea where Sid is. Just run around, I guess. Is there anyone to talk to? There he is. I thought that was him. I remember him wearing a lot of white, so... 
Drop! Oh, look at this! He's uh, showing off to the ladies here. Look at Sid. He's being a womanizer. Isn't that adorable? Yes, I remember how we met Sid. <laughs> I've always liked him. I don't know about you guys, but I have. Hey, come on. He did help, but, you know, Cat did all the work. Most of the work. <laughs> she was a great assistant. Look at him taking credit. <laughs> He's a lady killer over here, isn't he? Yes, look at that outfit. Look at it. It's so cool. I wonder if you can buy a cosplay outfit for Kat. Surely you can. Or well, there must be someone like on Etsy, I love Etsy, who can make it. Just need a blonde wig and then, you know, that sexy outfit and you're good to go. And then like a plush cat. <laughs> a plush Dusty. Fits like a glove. I trimmed the chest for you. <laughs> oh, what's that supposed to mean? My boobs haven't shrunk. How mean. <laughs> well, I want him to recover, so that's fine. As long as he isn't putting it on. <laughs> Actually, that's a point. If he can walk, he can do work. <laughs> I think the women just, like, really fancy him, so they're kind of worried over minor injuries, maybe. Ooh, what's going on? That can't be good. That must be some kind of alarm bell. Gravity Queen. I like that actually. I like that nickname, Gravity Queen. Episode 2 Lonely Request. Okay, we're now on to episode 2, guys. I don't know if that's a good thing that Lisa knows Dusty is the source of Cat's power, though. <laughs> uh, you know, you think Dusty could potentially become a target of, like, someone trying to steal him or her and get the powers for themselves. Sure. So she's already putting our powers to work for her, isn't she? Yeah, why not? I've got gravity. Gravity! It's on my side. Well, at least he'll get to see my powers firsthand now if he's going on the mission with me. Misai! That is his name, isn't it? I've forgotten his name already. <laughs> Whoops! Talk to Misai, yeah, it is. I am in the cage. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I was wondering why it wasn't moving for a second there. Look, Dusty's taking it seriously. Look at that cat serious face. Meow. <laughs> Oh, 
Why do I feel like something's seriously gonna go wrong down here? Look at those colours, man. It's beautiful. Definitely the scenery is gorgeous and the game runs really smooth as well. I've not seen any like frame rate issues or anything so far, guys. Plays really well and the controls feel really nice as well. <laughs> My body feels lighter. <laughs> That's because we can control gravity, so weight is irrelevant. Oh god, okay, so there's like a challenge here then. Mining King. Okay, sounds good to me. Yeah. No stealing. Oh, damn it. I could have let him do all the work and then just like whip in with my powers, gather up all the ore and whip out. <laughs> I wanted to be sneaky and mean. Right. Okay. Mining. Hit deposits of gravity ore to break them open and collect the precious gems inside. Information on how to play the game can be viewed from the announcements menu in the menu accessible by pressing options. If you're having any trouble clearing a section of the game, check here for hints on how to clear it. Right, well on that note, before we dive into this particular mission, I'm going to go ahead and stop this episode here guys. So don't forget, this turning into a continued Let's Play series on my channel is very dependent on you guys liking this series. So how you can show me that you are enjoying it is by watching, liking the video, commenting, favouriting, and of course hitting that subscribe button as well. All of those stats show me that you guys are enjoying it and it means I will record more of this game and make it a continued Let's Play series on the channel. But anyway guys, Thank you for watching, take it easy, and I shall see you next time.